Hello everyone, so yep, welcome to this glorious little tutorial, tutorial and it is a very lucky day of yours because I am going to be teaching you the best rendering settings or the best preferences, any preferences and settings of Adobe After Effects and the settings will be so best that your computer After Effects can become the best performance ever. After Effects will give you the best performance it has the rendering will be so fast and your work will just fly away so yep so before beginning here I have Adobe After Effects before beginning we must import our files and must have done some of the effects so let's import them and do some effects so now as you can see I have done many effects, I have given some adjustment layer effects, I have turned the rotation a bit, a scale a bit, then I have imported a photo, gave some glow effects and you know made some paintings okay. So now we will have to just go to edit, preferences and let's just start with general and it's gonna open our preferences window of Adobe After Effects and these are the settings for general levels of undo 32 give tick marks in the first tree leave the fourth one then give again four tick marks then leave three then again give these two tick marks let's go to previews give the adaptive resolution limit to one by four <laughs> If you want some best performance, enable OpenGL and enable these two tick marks. And if you want some info, click on this button and leave the audio preview to 8. Let's go to display. And these are the settings for display. Make some hardware accelerate. If you want, you can disable terminals in project panel. This will speed up things. And uh, do uh, no more than 5 keyframes, but leave that. Just write no more than 15. Let's go to import. Give length a composition. Sequence footage will be 30 frames per second. Interpret unlabeled will be ask user. Default drag in poor mode as footage. Let's go to output. Select all the first to fifth none and just tick mark the last bit. Let's go to grids, don't touch anything here. Level colors, don't touch. Level defaults, don't touch. But just make sure you have media disk and cache enabled. Enable disk cache and give the maximum disk size to 2000. Of course, this will depend on how much hard drive space you have on your PC hard drive so yep so I will recommend you give 2000 megabytes and the cache folder you have to click on this button and choose the folder it will open up your browsing window and I will recommend you select any one of the drive in your hard drive apart from the local drive C don't use local drive just take any drive rename it to cache and I've put it to D drive cache A. And put a tick mark here. Let's go to video preview. Don't touch anything. Go to appearance. You can work with the brightness if you want. But I will set it to default. You get tick mark this too, but I will recommend you don't tick mark this one. Go to autosave and don't tick mark here because it will, you know, take up much of the memory. And the most important bit, please don't miss it out. Go to memory and multiprocessing. This memory and multiprocessing window will be and may be differ from your version of Adobe After Effects or it can also differ from your PC you know PC specifications so according to your PC how much RAM is installed how much CPU is installed this window will vary so in my memory and multiprocessing this window is appearing so go to the system options and RAM to leave for the other applications please give the list available so the list available for my system is 0.25 GB 
as my installed RAM is only 3 GB after effects will use at least 2 GB and I will leave RAM for the applications other applications the least so you have to give if you want the best performance of Adobe after effects set it to a least range and in multiprocessing tick mark this render multiple frames simultaneously then go to minimum allocation per CPU and set it to 1 GB and in this uh, volume dialog box set the arrow to a quarter in the direction of faster rendering at 75% to faster rendering now this is here is a very important bit it shows how much CPU will be used in the After Effects and how much CPU to leave for other applications of your window. So as my CPU is a dual core CPU, I have only two CPUs. So to <laughs> the CPUs that I will leave for other application may be one or zero. I will recommend you keep zero. But if you keep zero, other applications will die struggling for CPU other applications will result in closed so I will recommend you give at least one but the number of CPUs will vary from system to system so you may have seven CPUs eight CPUs four CPUs five CPUs so you have to just justify so if you have four CPUs leave two CPUs for other applications and you have to just do it like this with common sense and put a tick mark here let's go to audio hardware don't touch this audio and don't touch this and hit ok so yep this is the best settings for your adobe after effects yep so thanks Ivan. if i indeed help with this video please click the like button and comment any custom comments and apps in the disc in the you know comment section below and subscribe for more tutorials i hope you are indeed helped with this tutorial and so until next time i am going to be seeing you later